Remember, House Kadik business is its own. Only Rasma and Jimal may decide otherwise. This is exactly the impression we don't want to give. Please, Jamal. Don't you see how all this works in our favor? It's not up for discussion. I won't risk what we've worked so hard to achieve. It's done. No, you'd risk our future and reputation as a house. But you are the chosen elder. Ah, oh, don't patronize me. The Great Serpent spared our house. We are favored here. And shouldn't you get back to the Council? We can't afford to be absent at a time like this. I guarantee I'm not missing much. But you're right. I'll be heading back soon enough. May the Great Serpent bless you. So... Akris has sent our newest Vindicator to inquire about Sahima. Don't worry. Jamal's already told me all about you. I'm Razma, Elder of House Kadik and head of the Ministry of Conjunction. The Ministry of Conjunction is one of the three government branches of our society. We deal in information to ensure the High Council can make educated decisions. Most of our work is highly classified. Even the High Council itself may not be aware of all that we're involved in. House Kadik is one of the three noble houses under House Varun. We have a reputation on being the more moderate of the three. Not as fervent as House Vithal, and not as passive as House Dokef. We're also largely associated with the Ministry of Conjunction, since I lead the department. Well, it's also an honor to meet one as interesting as yourself. I wouldn't have suspected an outsider to be made promised. But who am I to argue with the Great Serpent's choice? This is exactly what I was afraid of. Serpent, give me strength. I know the Council is looking to Sahima for answers. But the truth is, she's been taken along with other members of the house. They're being held hostage by zealots. And now they're demanding negotiations. This is a major overreach. I have never known the zealots to be so bold. What happened to Dazra was a cataclysmic event. The city may seem in order now, but those first few days, it was chaos. And the Zealots took advantage. Because right now, this situation is a matter for the Ministry of Conjunction. As much as the Council thinks it's their business, it's not. At least not yet. They want Sahima, and we're trying to produce her. Perhaps the Zealots, you know. But they were once a part of Varun society. Our relationship is far more complex. The Zealots have yet to name specifics. At best, they'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. House Malin. They know we can't risk Sahima for Dazra's sake. So... They won't hold back when it comes to demands. They had a house. House Malin was abandoned a long time ago. But there are some who'd want to see it reinstated. House Malin was fully dedicated to Jandar Varun. They objected when his brother, Jarek, was chosen to take over as leader. 
They knew he would bring an end to the Serpent's Crusade. It's why they abandoned their house and became the zealots you know today. To continue what they believe is Jinan and Jandar's work. Jinan Varun had twin sons, Jarek and Jandar. Jandar fully supported the Serpent's Crusade, and to many in House Malin, was the best suited to take over for his father. Aha. Uh -huh. My thoughts exactly. Normally I'd have agents doing everything possible to find them. But we too suffered losses. We need to be here. Present. I couldn't risk more lives. It's the only reason I even agreed to these negotiations. But now that you're here, I can finally take action. Of course. But the negotiations offered a chance to get Sahima and the others back without putting lives at risk. I saw the chance and had to take it. As demanding as I'd expected the Zealots to be, I fully intended to do everything in my power to bring them within reason. <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself. However, there's still one unanswered question. I don't know where the Zealots are keeping Sahima, but I have a good idea who does. Their name is Merrick. Merrick is a Kadik, and they also work for me as an agent in the Ministry of Conjunction. This is where matters get complicated. Once I made the decision to go through with the negotiations, it wasn't necessary. Now that the situation has changed, well, that's going to be your job now. It's not the family name that complicates matters here. As I said, Merrick works for me in the Ministry of Conjunction. They've been establishing an inside relationship with the Zealots for some time now. On my orders. Forcing them to give up the information could jeopardize all they've worked for. So don't expect them to be forthcoming. Get the information any way you see fit. As long as no physical harm comes to them. Understood. Merrick is proud of what they've accomplished, so I doubt they'll give up information easily. If being persuasive isn't your strong suit, perhaps appealing to their substantial ego may help. If you can stomach it. Just don't be direct. I'm sure it would put them on the defensive. Either that, or make them completely unwilling to talk. What better way to surveil a threat? It's important for us to know what the Zealots may be targeting, to stay one step ahead. The people of Dazra look to us elders for strength and guidance. We cannot fail them at a time like this. Don't let my composure fool you, promised. It's neither easy, nor something I take lightly. The Zealots don't trust easily. If their location was discovered, Merrick would most likely be the first they'd suspect. They'd never trust them or any agent of House Kadik again. See that you do. You'll find Merrick upstairs in the meditation room.
Be quick, promised. Time is of the essence. Please try not to alert anyone to what you're doing. You're no member of House Kadik. What are you doing here? Oh, so you're the heretic turned vindicator who thinks they're one of us now. So tell me, what would a chosen one such as yourself want with someone like me? Oh, I certainly don't. I may have many talents, but mind reading isn't one of them. <sighs> After all I've done, I guess this means the High Council is still asking Auntie Razma where Sahima is. And if you're here making demands, she obviously has decided to make use of you rather than undergo sincere negotiations. I see what's going on here. Well, I am one of the few to garner any amount of trust with the Zealots, so she should be. I can't imagine where the Ministry of Conjunction would be without me. Yes, I can see the jealousy all over their faces. 
It's nice to see I'm being properly recognized. I may excel in my skills, but it doesn't mean the hours I put in are any less. Exactly. There's still research, analysis, documentation. Eh, too much documentation, if you ask me. But altogether, I have the exact talents needed to do this job, which is why I was entrusted with the Zealots in the first place. I admit it hasn't always been easy. They are Zealots, you know. I see you're familiar with standard Zealot tactics. But it's really all about crafting the perfect scenario to encounter the right one. You don't just waltz up and say hello. It takes a great deal of surveillance and profiling to determine the right approach. You have no idea. I can't even tell you how much time and effort it's been to sway the Zealots my way. Not to mention the stress over my own personal well-being. I may be the best at what I do, but I'm not stupid. The Zealots do have the element of... unpredictability. I was wondering when your own agenda would come into play. I've worked hard to obtain my position with the Zealots. And like I've told Rosma a thousand times, I have no reason to believe they're going to hurt my dear cousins, especially Sahima. So, as far as I'm concerned, that information stays with me. As much as I'd like to help you, I don't think so. I won't argue her importance. But they could be exactly what gets us Sahima back. And when these negotiations succeed, I'm sure you'll get her. Serpent, save me. Stop talking. Now leave me alone before I call security and have you escorted out. Or worse. Service to the Great Serpent is payment enough. Hmm. If the system is protected, there will hopefully be valuable data. Perhaps you join our... You must have gotten the location. Ah, yes, the old...
old Baroon military outpost. It's a remnant of the Serpent's Crusade. If my intel is correct, you can find Shadow Station Epsilon in the Badlands, north of Dazra. I can send you the coordinates. The Shadow Stations were established during the Serpent's Crusade. A series of secret military installations that few knew about, and even fewer may remember. The idea was to have isolated centers focused on different aspects of furthering the Crusade. This way, if one fell, it wouldn't endanger the others. Epsilon was once a research station with a focus on grav drive manipulation. The Zealots have since vastly expanded upon it. But it makes sense if they intend to use Sahima to their advantage. Shadow Station Epsilon is one of many Zealot bases scattered throughout. As I mentioned before, I wasn't willing to risk agent lives in order to scout them all. If anything happens to the hostages, they will lose a lot more than leverage. We will do whatever is necessary to bring Sahima and the others back safely. Now that we have a rescue mission underway, I'll speak to Merrick about setting up the negotiations. The current plan is to hold them at one of the geothermal power stations. Meet us there when Sahima and the others are safe. It's a fairly neutral location, and just the right distance from Dazra, so both parties will feel safe. The geothermal stations are also autonomous in nature, so we don't have to worry about unwanted eyes and ears. If memory serves, it's southeast of Shadow Station Epsilon. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Good. Serpent willing, your timing will line up. I'll stall the zealots as long as I can, which shouldn't be an issue. That being said, I'd still appreciate it if you could act quickly. Now, Jamal wants an update before you leave. Just don't let her distract you for too long. Vindicator, a word before you go. Tell me, Vindicator. What do you know about the Zealots? I'm impressed. You've already learned quite a bit from your time with us. The Zealots are widely frowned upon within our society. They're a remnant of the Serpent's Crusade, days we'd like to forget. Has my dear sister given you any history on our house's relations with the Zealots? I'm surprised she even mentioned that much. Razma would have everyone believe she only wishes to keep an eye on the Zealots, so the Council can make informed decisions. The truth is, she's had this particular group of Zealots under her thumb for quite some time. This is only a problem now because she's lost control. That is the real reason why Razma hasn't informed the High Council, and I'm sworn to silence. I have some choice words for anyone supporting a connection between House Varun and the Zealots. Exactly. House Kadik already has a reputation for being sympathetic to the Zealots, but the truth is far worse. Razma wants the Zealots to back House Kadik, so the balance of power between the noble houses would shift to us. She's been employing them. Paying them in supplies that aid their blind crusade. Rasma would believe they want to reintegrate or even reestablish House Malene, and she's a fool for it. The Zealots want nothing but the means to carry out their war credits, weapons, and ships. And these very supplies would be used to harm not only your people but our own as well. There are several members who are sympathetic toward them or their cause. 
Some see beyond their extremist veneer and believe they're just misguided. A very small few may believe Jandar truly was the rightful heir, but none would ever admit it. I'm certain it's the case that members of the other houses feel the same. House Kadik is just the only one who's been exposed for it. The Council knows nothing of her work with the Zealots, and I aim to keep it that way. All elders have their own ambitions. I'm certain that's all they see. What none of us expected was the disaster that is the scaled citadel. The aftermath is what allowed the Zealots to grab Sahima and the others, flipping the balance of power in their favor. Razma has lost control and is putting House Kadik's reputation and power at risk. She only appears that way now because she has you to fix it. House Kadik shouldn't be associating with Zealots at all, except on an extermination level. But worse, we absolutely cannot be supplying them with ordinance of any kind. We need to cut ties with the Zealots altogether. Exposing this information to the Council would condemn not only Razma, but House Kadik along with her. I have no wish to tarnish our house or ruin my sister. I simply want to show her the error of her ways. How astute. I want you to put an end to any connections between House Kadik and the Zealots. And while my position won't allow me to be blunt, I'll still make it clear. Should the hostages not survive, Rasma would blame the Zealots and cut all ties. House Kadik would go to any lengths, it seems. Those few lives will be nothing compared to the lives the Zealots will take if House Kadik continues to supply them. Sacrificing them would open my sister's eyes, quelling any sympathy and desire to work with the Zealots. Once Rasma no longer sees the Zealots as an ally, the rest will soon follow. Perhaps you don't understand. These noble houses have existed for generations. The people look up to us to guide them under the will of the Great Serpent. The fall of a noble house would put everything into question. And with the state Dazra is in right now, I won't allow that to happen. What we need is Sahima's research, which she has with her. You just need to bring it back. Think about it if you must, but if you care about your people, you'll come to the same conclusion as I have. And when you do, just know that we can't afford any loose ends, no witnesses. As far as everyone else is concerned, the hostages were dead when you arrived and you exacted revenge in House Kadik's name. Of course not, but in this situation, it is the most effective means to an end. As a mediary, I am constantly weighing decisions based on both immediate and long-term consequences. This decision is awful, I know that. But the far-reaching consequences are worth the sacrifice. Zealots are unpredictable, and their passion to their cause often makes them prone to violence. Whether the Zealots believe it or not matters little, but Rasma certainly will. The settled systems, of course. They're the Zealots' number one target with more victims every day. I trust you'll make the right decision. Until then, I'll see you at the negotiations.
testing results. Here, far from the city, voice of the great circle.
like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. signs of trouble.
here to help. That zealot had a key. You have to get me out of here. Who are you? Serpent's Grace, I knew it! I knew she wouldn't just leave us here to rot. It's more than just me. There are others. The Zealots have been using them to force me to continue my research here. They think I have all the answers since the original experiment was a catastrophic failure. The Zealots were wise in their tactics. Up until now. The original experiment. The one that took out half of Dazra and sealed off the scaled citadel. Surely you must know. I'm sorry. I realize the elders and council members may not be properly disseminating this information. I'm not one for politics, obviously. Well, the Zealots think they are forcing me to continue my research here. They want me to apply my theories to an ASCO scaled citadel debacle. Somehow they ascertained my previous involvement. Are... are you saying my theory is correct? I knew it! I told them their algorithms and insufficient testing were only giving the illusion of stability. But no, no one wants to listen to me. Not the girl who put people twice my age to shame when it came to assessments. Of course, this is what it would take for Razma to send someone after me. Negotiations? Oh, right. I'd almost forgotten. I overheard the Zealots mention negotiating with House Kadik, so the motivations are clear. Not only does the High Council deem me important, but Razma needs to remove me from the equation. I get it. But at least now everyone knows I was right. All right. First, we need to free the other hostages. The Zealots aren't aware of how I've been delving into their systems here. I told them I needed full access if they expect me to replicate the Nasco's experiment, and I didn't even bother with risk assessment. They think I'm applying my theories to their poor excuse for technology down here. Granted, I could probably make it work if I had to. Right. Focus. The other hostages are being kept just beyond this room. I can disengage the locks to their cell and grant you access to an elevator in the room beyond that will take them to safety. You just have to clear out that area first, and the zealots down there are... different. The zealots you'll encounter beyond here are... altered somehow. To be made thus would be to show them the Great Serpent's mercy. Some may, but keep in mind that we are scientists. Many of them have never seen true combats, and are no longer proficient with weapons. But some, like me, may still be capable. Just don't expect much of them. I fear you may have no choice here. Just be careful. Usual tactics are unlikely to work against them. While you get the rescue underway, I'm going to set up certain guarantees here. I'll meet you and the others outside.
The Zealots have a small network here that I can plug into. They think I've been working on my research, when really, I've been formulating a virus that will shut down this entire base. And their ships. I'm more than capable of handling myself. Besides, the Zealots think they need me, so my life isn't in danger. If I'm not out there when you free the hostages, just come back for me. And a well thought out one at that. I just need enough time to set up a remote device so I can launch a virus that will render this place useless. Think of it as a failsafe to guarantee our safety. The Zealots would never risk this base or their ships. No way. It's probable that we'll make it, and when we do, I'm handing this over to a familiar face. No offense. Now move it. You've got hostages to free. A zealot. Who are you? Thank the serpent. So that means she's safe? I wish it were that easy. The zealot separated us. Our brethren are still out there. Please, I can ready my people here, but you'll have to deal with the zealots. ...and rescue the others so we may all escape safely. 
is another zealot like the one that guarded us. It's unlike any we've seen. They're augmented somehow. Their minds lack any inhibition. Just be careful. Other zealots are down there as well. But that's the one to worry about. I'll be keeping an eye out, so we'll be ready. Great ser serpent, save me. The great serpent has heard me. I have things I will give you when you have time.
is this? Thank the serpent. I thought I was done for. You did it. You got everyone out. You did it! It's true what they say. The air really does smell fresher. Serpent, bless you. We owe you our lives. Thank you. Now, it's time for you to head back. I'm going to stay back a moment and make sure everyone here is okay to make it back safely. I'll catch up with you shortly. Just let me know where the negotiations are taking place. Don't worry. Razma came through for me. It's only fair I return the favor. I'll be there when it counts. Now go. These members of your house have suffered. I can respect your decision. I can't thank you enough for saving us. to be unreasonable the whole time? I thought this was a negotiation. We're having a friendly chat, aren't we? It's not my fault you don't find my offers acceptable. Nah, just the person I wanted to see. Please tell me you bring good news. Good. Now it's my turn to watch me hail squirm. Razma, who is this? You allow any commoner to just waltz in on official business. I'd expect better security from House Kadik. <laughs> this is hardly official business. Yes. And now these so-called negotiations are over. Over? You would risk everything after the whispers of a stranger. I demand to know who this is. You think I care about Anasco Varun, son of a traitor? Only a complete fool would expect me to believe this. It's true, Mihail. And if you don't leave now, peacefully, I'll make sure your ships and Shadow Station Epsilon are made dust. You... How did you... You're bluffing. Test me. You think a genius mind like mine wouldn't find a way to hack into every system in your base? This remote device will launch a virus that will detonate systems within Epsilon, and reach your ships as well. You realize how this may affect future partnerships, Razma? You would jeopardize our connections. It jeopardizes nothing. It merely restores the natural order. The natural order. I could take you all out here and now. You know every one of us is prepared to answer the Serpent's call. You're so willing to sacrifice your allies at Shadow Station Epsilon? You don't think they're as prepared as we are? We all answer the call, and if that day is today, so be it. No, but it's the death they know is possible. Besides, you think I'd turn my back on the insults thrown here today? You mean, do we think you'd throw away your life and the lives of everyone at Shadow Station Epsilon over your pride, Mihail? 
No, I for one don't think you will. And you can't deny our partnerships have been beneficial for us both. As much as our people may disagree, Jandar would see you sacrifice your life in direct service to the Great Serpent. Both would have you die cleansing the accursed and turning those who may listen to his shadow. You know this to be true, Mihail. A true promise lives only to serve. And your death today would serve nothing. Blessed sister, you speak truth. I have been blinded by pride. But your words have guided me back to the path. All right. I won't deny my brethren the death they deserve. But I won't forget this either. Don't think this won't change anything, Razma. Things have already changed, Mihail. From the moment you kidnapped House members. These negotiations are over. Now leave us. I can't believe the Zealots listen to you. Good to see you. I couldn't have asked for a better. I would prefer that we both remain light on our feet. You never know what could happen. You have no House Kadik is in your debt. Was... As am I. I owe you my life. Sahima, you are a part of this house. I... I know. I just wanted to say thank you. Personally. And here, it's the research and algorithm the High Council wants. I'm sure they'll appreciate it more coming from you. I'm going back to check on the others, but maybe come find me when you're done. Great. You can find me at the Great House whenever you get the chance. We'll talk later, Sahima. As I was saying, Hal's Kadik is in your debt. You've helped me maintain a very precarious balance. And one day it will. But until then, they're a necessary evil. One that we'll be keeping a much closer eye on. I'd appreciate it if you kept this a secret. A fair price to pay for silence. The others involved know better than to speak of this. As much as it disappoints me, I can't say I'm surprised. Jamal's never cared for our view with the Zealots. And she has no love for those taken. But this is what makes her an excellent mediator. This will be discussed at length later. But that is a personal matter between me and my sister. But the truth is... House Kadik comes first and foremost. And she was willing to pay the hard price for what she deemed necessary. Had I been in her place... I can't say I wouldn't have come to the same conclusion. You and the rest of our house. Now, I have much to do, and so do you. Ekris and the High Council will be expecting you. Well done, Vindicator. Sahima's research is essential. Without it, we risk a second catastrophe. Ah, were you able to find Sahima? Perfect. I have no doubt Sahima's work is the key to stabilizing the morning device. If only the others had listened to her, we may not have lost so much of our...
great city. It shouldn't take me long to install her work. Uploading Sahima's algorithm. Plugging in the necessary variables. <sighs> it is done. Vindicator, will you do us the honor? 